Let's talk a little bit about the Poway Term Limit Initiative. And um, I just want to bring people up to speed on this particular issue. You know, we had talked about the term limit initiative that Tony Blaine was putting forward. And this initiative has now been suspended. You know, he, he thinks that he's not going to be able to get enough signatures. And in fact, like I told you, I'm on his text messaging list, which is an interesting uh, list to get involved in because his messages are so personal. It makes you think like he's just talking to you, but he's really talking to everybody. But Tony Blaine said on June 23rd, stop signatures. We're not going to make the 4,000 uh, signature deadline by July 30th. I'm going to refile now to restart the six-month clock in September, and we'll get 4,000 signatures and put it on the 2026 ballot. Interesting. So Tony Blaine is still going to run for office, and I think he's running in District two, if I recall. Um, and he's going to be running against Jared Wilson, who was a, another kind of uh, outspoken Poway guy who played a role in the last election, part of the uh, Deputy Sheriff's Association. And he was on the, the, Jared Wilson was chairing the Budget Review Committee. He's a pretty interesting guy. A lot of people had a lot of problems with a lot of the the PACs and the money in politics in Poway. And, and he's going to be running against Tony Blaine. And Tony Blaine, of course, announced his candidacy before the 2022 election. That's how far ahead of the curve he was. Um, and my understanding is, is that he is in the reserves and he is serving um, on a mission right now. And he's not here locally. So he had to get someone else to file his candidate papers for his District 2 election. But if he's not here, then he's obviously not gathering a lot of signatures for the Poway Term Limits Initiative. And so it turns out they're not going to have enough. And in this, it's disappointing. I mean, I'd like to see term limits. I think, you know, a lot of times the incumbents get into office, particularly in local elections, and they're there for like, <laughs> not just years, sometimes decades. And, uh, and I always like to see some fresh blood. I hope this thing gets resurrected. Um, if Tony is successful and wins his election, that'll help him probably bring this initiative more towards the front of the list on things that are being discussed in Poway. Um, and we, and we're going to break down all these elections as we get closer into the election season. You know, generally speaking, our local elections start to get hot and heavy, like around Labor Day um, and go in through, you know, the mid to end of October. Usually by then everyone has voted with their mail-in votes. So the term limit campaign has been suspended. So let me know what you think of that. Uh, do, you, do you like term limits? Do you think term limits are a good idea? Or maybe they're a bad idea because we get to vote and we can always out, we can always kick out an incumbent. And maybe our regular voting process is good enough for term limits. Let me know your thoughts and opinions.